Hey there guys, welcome to uh, this uh, radio related video. Uh, this is a little video showing you how I uh, hook up my ICOM ICR 8500 for computer control and what software I'm using actually. So first of all, the ICOM ICR 8500 has computer control and uh, this computer control is done by a RS-232 port that's here and I have this adapter on it. Um, if you have an old computer it's cool because you can plug it directly with a serial cable but chances are you have a very recent computer that has no serial ports or you have a laptop computer that does not have any serial ports and laptops have not had serial ports for pretty long time so what do you need well here uh, I bought a this little adapter here is a serial to USB and this is important because you'll be able to control with any computers using USB a USB port by using this adapter now I've got this adapter on eBay and um, it's working really well keep in mind that you might have to buy a few different adapters before one works right and I actually had this is the second one I have I bought the first one I bought uh, which is this one here the black one now this one is a serial to USB adapter and um, actually the problem is with this one um, all the software I was using were almost all the time freeze up on the computer uh, because of the chip the way that it operates it didn't work well so I bought one on eBay uh, thinking well might be better and it was kind of cheap you know like ten twelve dollars something like that and I'm really happy that I bought it because this one works really well uh, computer controls well it never freezes up or very rarely so it's pretty cool so what happens is you need because it's a nine pin serial and that your ICOM is a 25 pin serial plug first thing I had to but purchase is an adapter from uh, 25 to it's DB25 to DB9. Then plug in the adapter serial DB9 to USB, and then you've got this USB cable here that's going away. And if you follow the cable, it's here going to a USB port on my laptop Toshiba computer. Now, after you've done that, you gotta notice what uh, serial what's the COM port number that it's going to be assigned in Windows and when you plug this in for the first time it actually detects and shows you that it's detecting a new serial device and will actually tell you what COM port you are using but if you don't know what COM port you are using uh, just try from 1 to 9 uh, in the software when it's going to ask you just try them one at a time and you'll see that one of them is actually working in my case this is uh, COM4 uh, because that's how it was assigned on my computer second part of all is you, the software well my software that I'm using is AmRadio Deluxe I think it's one of the best pieces of software to control radios out there I've tried TK8500 that is one of the very popular ones for ICOM uh, ICR8500 it does not work on my Windows 7 64-bit version so uh, I was never able to make it work I've tried another one that I don't remember the name that uh, would actually freeze almost all the time so I thought that was not really cool and so basically um, I came up to Amradio Deluxe while searching the web Amradio Deluxe will control a really a wide variety of radios and that's pretty cool and in the list of radios that it controls of course it has the ICOM ICR 8500 it can control a lot of amateur radio um, gear and what's cool about that is that this program receives but can also help you in the transmission 
uh, mode. So if you're a ham radio operator, Ham Radio Deluxe is a great piece of software for that too. So basically once you've set up the right COM port, because the first time you'll actually turn on Ham Radio Deluxe, it will ask you what's the radio you're using. So you'll have to choose and list. And you'll have to choose what COM port you're using. Uh, I think it has an auto detect feature that actually can detect it for you. But like I said, if uh, it doesn't work, just try from COM1 to COM9 and you'll probably f you know, get the right COM port on one of the settings. So uh, the basic settings of the receiver and the program are okay, but if you need to play with the settings, there's a setting in the radio that when you actually uh, turn off the radio and hold here the sleep button, while you're turning the power on, you'll have a menu where you can set the COM port settings, the speed, and uh, but I didn't have to play with that. The settings of I'm Radio Deluxe are already uh, the good settings for this radio. Ham Radio Deluxe is a great piece of software. Uh, I'll have a review of just the software on uh, another video, but it uh, really helps you control. And you can see here if I press and change here changes on my radio you can see that I'm really controlling it by computer and it's pretty cool so uh, this is my setup I'm Radio Deluxe with a, a serial to USB adapter and it's plugged of course like I said on the USB port of my computer one drawback of the computer control is that in the HF part of the band so in shortwave and amateur radio bands uh, below 30 megahertz it makes a lot of noise in the radio and actually uh, using computer control with this receiver is not a good idea when you're listening to shortwave there's just too much noise so that was a bad um, not a good idea I would say um, but for VHF UHF anything I would say uh, above 50 megahertz um, wow it works really well and it doesn't do really lots of interference you can see uh, on some little buzzing at some parts of the band but usually it's pretty quiet so uh, keep in mind that you know controlling in the HF portion is not that great especially because your computer um, does generate a lot of noise and it actually goes through this cable maybe using a uh, toroid core and passing the USB cable a uh, few turns inside a core like that might actually help uh, increase or make it better and de decrease the interference level but apart from that uh, VHF UHF is pretty cool and you've seen uh, if you look at my videos there's lots of videos where I uh, use computer control especially listening to satellites I uh, find it kind of interesting because you already need your computer to track the satellites so why not use it to control also uh, one little good feature also is the fact that it has a satellite tracking piece of software with it and so you can uh, track those weather and uh, ham radio satellites so this is my setup uh, look for separate um, review of the ham radio deluxe program itself and so I uh, hope uh, gives you an idea on how to uh, plug in your receiver and uh, well keep in mind if it doesn't work well on the first attempt try another adapter you'll find one that probably works better than another uh, and uh, well mine was bought on eBay so um, gives you an idea so I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, 73s